What's up, everybody? This is Jay from Interview Query and the Data Science Jay YouTube channel. And today I am talking about the Microsoft Data Science interview. Uh, super exciting. Also, before I get a chance to talk any further, I'd love if you guys could just like this video right here. It really helps uh, with encouraging me to make more of these. Uh, and I don't get enough encouragement in every single day. So please like it. <laughs> what is the interview like at Microsoft, right? Um, I would say Microsoft in general has changed over the past few uh, years. Uh, better well known as decade, right? Uh, ever since uh, the new CEO change came in, I think the culture has definitely changed into something more of being more uh, effective in terms of uh, business priorities, figuring out where, where they actually lay on the uh, SaaS kind of roadmap and generally become uh, one of the biggest players in data science and machine learning with uh, applying, uh, you know, basically ML to, I think, every aspect of their B2B uh, huge multi-conglomerate business. Um, and that comes from everything in artificial intelligence, in Azure, uh, to actually data science consulting for their cloud computing products. Um, it's humongous, right? Microsoft has a huge data science org. Uh, so how does the actual interview go, right? Um, so I wanna start out by kind of explaining how data science functions at Microsoft. Uh, essentially, data science is a byproduct of uh, under the engineering department and it functions within three different roles, right? There is the actual um, pure data science role, uh, there is an applied scientist role, and then there is the machine learning engineer role, right? And these are the three roles that effectively make up all of the data scientists um, at Microsoft. Um, and effectively, depending on their function, uh, they work in a variety of capacities, but mostly uh, the machine learning engineers and applied scientists work on writing code to ship models to production, um, writing code to uh, use machine alg learning algorithms that can be used by other data scientists on the team. Um, a lot of the data scientists will work with customers directly or indirectly to solve technical issues, uh, work on metrics and experimentation, and also focus on product features, right? So there's a di definitely a distinct difference uh, between uh, the applied scientists and machine learning engineers versus the actual data scientists that focus more on product facing capacities. So what does the actual interview look like then, right? Um, from the research that we've done at Interview Query and talking to current and past members, we've seen that mostly the experience consists of an initial phone screen, uh, and then a technical interview, which then concludes with an actual on-site, um, now kind of virtual interview with uh, five to six different, different members of the team, right? The initial screen uh, is generally just a recruiter screen, um, and it kind of depends on actually if you're more senior, then a hiring manager will actually go out and talk to you about uh, the data science role and try to understand your past experience. Um, I would assume that generally uh, this is pretty straightforward it's like most other interviews that you'll ever have uh, in that the hiring manager is just trying to get a sense of your background and see if you're a good fit uh, for the team and microsoft as a whole right uh, they want to see if your resume matches your experience um, and at the same time they might ask a few technical uh, interview questions as well but more around the concepts of data science right so this is something like explain the difference between lasso and ridge regression, right? Or if, how would you actually explain a deep learning model uh, to a business person? Um, these are more questions that are dependent upon um, how you can communicate technical concepts to non-technical uh, persons, as well as can do you understand the fundamentals of machine learning algorithms from a level that uh, is deeper than just, you know, applying scikit-learn to something, right? So this is more about the fundamentals. And I think this comes up uh, many times for Microsoft type of interviews and in that they want uh, you to be uh, generally, um, I think they have preferences towards people that come from some sort of academic setting, but also from someone that has a deep understanding of data science and ML as well. And isn't just there to just, um, you know, apply, uh, you know, libraries to everything, uh, et cetera. 
Um, so after that, uh, generally there is a technical screen uh, with the Microsoft data scientists. And this is usually 45 minutes to an hour and it consists of a couple of different questions from SQL, probability, statistics to algorithms. Um, expect a question uh, within uh, Python uh, that is going over uh, anything as simple as just um, effectively, you know, parsing a string to something a little bit more complicated as of uh, kind of more of a leak code style algorithm question, right? Uh, this definitely depends on your team uh, and depends on how technical the role is, right? So the more technical the role, expect the harder the question. Um, then they'll usually ask like some sort of uh, SQL question or a statistics and probability question where they're asking you um, effectively, do you know like the fundamentals of probability and stats? Do you know the fundamentals of SQL? If so, then that's good. Cool. Now, lastly is the on-site interview, right? And this is a full day event usually. Uh, it goes from like 9 p.m. to like 9 a.m., sorry, to 5 p.m. Uh, and you meet with five different data scientists, you have a lunch interview, and you also talk to an executive. Um, and generally, the panel looks like uh, probably a probability and statistics question, data structures question, uh, modeling and machine learning question, um, definitely more of a product uh, ML case study in there as well. Um, and then a couple one-on-one -on -one, um, interviews with data scientists. Uh, in terms of tips for this, uh, I would say study modeling case studies uh, extremely closely, right? Um, so many of the times uh, interview questions will come up in the form of a question that doesn't even sound like it's a machine learning question, right? So they'll ask you something like, um, how would you launch like a new feature on Microsoft Teams, right? Uh, and number one, right, if you don't actually know what Teams is, you're absolutely screwed. And so definitely study up the product, study what Microsoft produces, what they're building. Uh, but um, additionally, um, because it's so broad, you're really gonna have to dig in and ask questions uh, to further understand where the interview is going. And I think Microsoft interviewers do this on purpose. Uh, they're there to assess your knowledge in terms of deep understanding of ML and can you uh, communicate as well as general business intuition. And so eventually uh, when you talk about a new feature, they'll ask you about the machine learning model you'll use to launch in Teams. They'll ask you about uh, why you would choose that model. They ask you why you would choose that model over another model. Uh, so expect to get very deep and expect it to be very conversational um, until you're um, definitely in the weeds about like a Microsoft product that you would be building. Um, and these are generally how most of the interviews are conducted, right? They're very behavioral, but at the same time, uh, when technical concepts come up, they expect you to be able to uh, talk about them uh, very easily, right? Um, additional questions are always gonna be around like A-B testing, um, evaluating performance of different models. Um, if it's more of a technical uh, machine learning type interview, definitely expect some algorithm questions with whiteboarding, um, as well as possibly a SQL interview, uh, as well if they didn't go over that in the technical screen. Cool. Lastly, I would say in terms of tips for the Microsoft interview, um, definitely, uh, I think a lot of the emphasis can be on communication, explaining these uh, topics to business people. Um, if you think about Microsoft's culture and uh, how big they are, you're gonna assume that there's gonna be uh, basically uh, very specified skill sets for all of these roles. And then so the data science role is so general, so uh, basically um, cross-functional to the point where they're gonna wanna expect you to have deep knowledge of all these things, right? Uh, and being able to communicate is probably gonna be uh, one of your most important uh, like factors at play when you're uh, working at Microsoft as such a large organization where you have to be pushing products forward and effectively um, moving the needle whenever you can, right? And so definitely I can't stress enough um, how much and how important it is to uh, practice communicating complex topics in ways that uh, are easy to understand, um, especially if you're talking to executives and other people like that. Um, lastly, I wanted to go over a list of interview questions that we've seen from Microsoft. Um, and so, for example, uh, what we've seen are, how would you select a representative sample of search queries from six million 
uh, rows and a table, right? Uh, give an example of a scenario where you would use naive Bayes over another classifier. How would you implement autocomplete on Microsoft Word and can you highlight the flaws in this tool today? Uh, so that's generally the roundup of questions that they ask. Um, expect some more statistics questions too, like, uh, but very much more situational based. So let's say um, you're hearing that uh, the customer call center is getting bad reviews. Uh, how would you determine that this is actual, actually a problem? Um, and so, yeah, those are generally uh, most of the interview questions I think that will be asked on Microsoft. Um, definitely reach out to me or in the comments and definitely um, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be going over more company interviews, um, mock interviews, uh, data science topics, anything about data science. Uh, we'll have it here on Data Science J. Uh, thanks. Bye.